This is the Weather Extreme video for Friday morning, the 17th of August. I'm James Spann. Wet and stormy today, but what about the weekend? Kind of a tricky forecast. Uh, let's get in there and talk about it. We'll start with some of the Skycam shots. Early this morning at the insane hour of 5 o'clock, rain is falling in Tuscaloosa. Good, steady, soaking rain. Go to the uh, Jasper Skycam. Light rain is falling there in Walker County, but so far it is dry in downtown Clanton down in Chilton County. An MCS moved into North Alabama about midnight last night, slowly progressing through the state, as you can see, in advance of that deep upper trough to the north and west. Uh, there's a peek at the radar that was captured at 5.02 this morning. And at that point, the uh, leading edge of the heavier rain was just coming into Birmingham and Tuscaloosa. We note that uh, Lamar County is under a flash flood warning. But other than that, the storms have not been severe uh, overnight. Hey, look at the cool air behind that front. Man, that looks good just like fall. Uh, a lot of 40s on the board up over parts of the uh, central and northern plains. That's so refreshing, and I think we'll feel a touch of that uh, early next week. Ahead of the front, the guys at SPC do maintain a standard slight risk of severe weather uh, for later today and tonight. It remains to be seen if the air can destabilize for that to happen. This big batch of morning rain uh, will really make that harder for it to happen, but it could. So we'll watch radar trends today. No doubt we'll see additional storms later, but uh, with all of this rain this morning, that is going to kind of stabilize things. Now, tomorrow you can see that the uh, thunderstorm risk moves south. The northern half of the state should be a little drier. So uh, odds are maybe we'll get away with uh, much of the day dry, and we'll look at modeling in just a moment. And then on day three, which is uh, Sunday, the thunderstorm risk, again, is for the southern half of the state, while the northern counties are relatively dry. And it's going to be a really tough call trying to identify exactly where that boundary will be between the rain to the south and the dry air to the north. There's the overall rain for the next five days, about through Tuesday evening of next week, suggesting the heavier totals down south, and that makes sense, with the front stalling out somewhere probably around U.S. 80. And the tropics, no big change. Uh, we've got a new wave coming off the coast of Africa. And like the other waves, it'll be fighting all the dry air out there. What's left of TD7 is in the Bay of Campeche, trying to get its act together, but it'll be moving into Mexico soon. And Gordon, the tropical storm, uh, is in the middle of the Atlantic, moving east away from the United States. Maybe become a hurricane briefly over the weekend, but it'll become a subtropical storm and the cooler water in coming days. All right, let's get in there and take a look. This is the GFS, the OZ run at 1 o'clock this afternoon at 500 millibars, deep trough over eastern Canada, cold front nearing uh, Tennessee. And again, uh, we expect uh, good coverage of showers and storms today, obviously this morning, and probably another round this afternoon. All right, tomorrow the GFS brings the drier air down into north Alabama, and uh, it looks like Interstate 20 is kind of the boundary. Tuscaloosa, Birmingham, Anniston South, some chance of scattered storms. North of Birmingham, the day mostly dry. And the same thing on Sunday, the front drifts down toward U.S. 80. North Alabama, mostly rain-free. We'll check the higher resolution RPM model. And again, it's, it's pretty similar. It's got the Really, a, a pretty dry look for us tomorrow, and, and all of Alabama looks pretty dry on Sunday. So uh, out of respect to that RPM, we'll start to dry things out over the weekend with the better rain chances shifting down south. And then next week, now the, the GFS wants to pull the moisture back in here on Monday, and I'm not so sure that makes a lot of sense. This is a good cool air mass. Uh, the NAM is drier on Monday, and I think that is the... Uh, correct solution. But needless to say, there is certainly a degree of uncertainty in here for Monday. Uh, and if we do get into dry air, we could see lows down around 60, maybe some upper 50s. There's Tuesday, moisture trying to creep back. Uh, we'll probably mention an outside risk of a shower. Wednesday, again, North Alabama dry, southern two-thirds of the state, a chance of scattered storms. Thursday, eh, maybe a shower or two. And there's a week from today. Uh, kind of a weak flow uh, aloft there and down below that. That would suggest nothing more than isolated showers. So it's a tricky forecast. We'll have to fine-tune things as we uh, kind of go through the weekend for next week. We'll check the end of the forecast on September 1st, first day of meteorological fall. Ah, yes. 
Westerlies pretty far north. That suggests just kind of typical maybe 1st of September weather. A few scattered showers and storms around. All right, that's it for the Weather Extreme video this morning. We'll have notes on the blog. Next video here by 3.30 or so today. And don't forget to watch us on television this evening, ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10. Or you can do it on the live stream or the television side. Thanks for watching. Have a great Friday and God bless.